What's up world, it's your boy DJ Short E from Philly. And I wanted to try and make a semi-quick video on how to utilize Dropbox with your um, Den and Prime players. Okay, so you already have um, Dropbox installed on your computer. If not, you would have to go to the Dropbox website, download it, install it on your computer. Once it's installed on your computer and you know you have the settings set to your liking, you'll find that when you open Engine Prime, it sees Dropbox as basically like a USB stick. So you would go to your collection, pull over a song. Uh, let's see. I'm going to do Eric B and Rock M. So you will pull it over to your collection, right? And when you click on your Dropbox, there it is. Okay. So. You can close out this. I mean, you could you could change your settings in Dropbox. Um, it all depends on your personal preferences. Once you change your settings and everything, um, but I'm just doing this so you can know how to use it. So boom, you're done with the laptop for now. All right. I'm assuming that you have already um, connected your player to Wi-Fi, so it's Wi-Fi enabled. If not, connect to Wi-Fi. Um, and what you would do is go into your settings, log into your Wi-Fi, and um, where it says cloud services, you would click on for your Dropbox. Mine's was already on. Okay. When you do that, you'll notice you have a choice. That was just a message letting me know that my Dropbox is a, I'm able to use it. So when you do that, you will notice you have a choice right here for the internal hard drive or any hard drive you have in, installed and your Dropbox, right? Or you can click source and you can choose Dropbox or your internal drive. So load the profile, the one you made on your laptop. I say yes personally for me, and you'll find that all your songs are there. So, you choose a song. Uh, let's see. Hopefully, I won't get banned or anything for this. So, boom. I've just loaded that song that quickly. Let me see show this here. I mean, I don't know and I can play it that easily. You can go to your other layer. Double click. See? And you, you're playing it on both layers. Okay? So that's how you would implement um, Dropbox. So you could use that to play songs. Um, let's say if an artist comes up to you during a set and he's like, oh man, could you please play this song? And you're willing to do it. Well, hopefully the word gets out to these artists that they need to um, get a Dropbox. Because what they can do is they can share that with you. You can go on your own phone, pull that song over you know, into your Dropbox, and you'll have access to it on your player. So you would just go to view and you'll be at just like normal, just like it's a, a, a USB stick. And you'll be there, pick a song, it downloads it, it doesn't take that long. Well, I guess that would depend on your internet connection. Um, but what it, what it what the good thing about it is whatever cue points you set up on um engine prime, hold up, let me see. Whatever cue points you set up on engine prime. They will be the same cue points that are here. For example, I have set up my cue points over here for check the ROM. Just download and check the ROM, and boom. All my cue points are there. See? And it's still playing off a of Dropbox. So basically, you're playing off the cloud. Um, and I mean, it could be good in emergency. Um, anything can happen and you really need that song. Um, 
the the person who's paying you for for your um your services may oh I want this song and you know it's in your Dropbox or you know you can get access to it through your Dropbox. Boom! Now you can play it at will. So it's just a thought. Hopefully this helps one of you. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll um, be sure to answer them. Peace.